Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel and today I'm doing a video on my favorite spring items right now based on the spring trends that are happening and kind of what I'm buying and what I'm interested in. Uh, if you are interested in this video then you can keep on watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. You can also check out my Instagram where I've got a bunch of cute photos and also I've got a couple baking videos if you're interested. So uh, I'm just going to jump right into the video. All right, the first item I'm gonna be talking about are bodysuits. And so I've actually gotten all these bodysuits I'm about to show you from Zara, and I think these are by far the best bodysuits. Uh, and this one is in kind of a razorback style, and it's in a chocolate brown, both of which are really popular right now. Uh, you see Rosie Huntington Whitley wearing these a lot, and then a lot of other people just kind of wearing these really great bodysuits. Uh, so I got them in the chocolate brown, and I got them in black. So the black bodysuit is the exact same. The only thing I will say about these is you have to be very careful when you're washing, washing them uh, because this one did get a little bit of pilling on the back. It doesn't bother me because it is on the back of the bodysuit, so it's not that big of a deal, but something just to keep in mind to be very careful with these. The next bodysuit that I got are these ribbed kind of tank bodysuits. These are really great. They don't have them in like a real nude color, which is unfortunate because that's what I'm really looking for, but I really like this kind of blushy mauve color. It's also something I'm seeing a lot right now that I really like. Um, and then I also got this one in black because wearing black top tank tops are really, you know, all I wear. So <laughs> I figured, you know, black is my color. Um, so I got some in black and they have a really great ribbed material. So they kind of look like just like a ribbed tank top, um, but they kind of fit nicely into your pants and everything. So, and also a skirt. Um, these ones, the only downside is that they don't have the little clasp at the bottom. So you have to get like fully naked if you're going to the bathroom. But it's, you know, a price to pay. I feel like they're really cute. I wear them a lot. Um, and these are definitely a great spring staple. All right, so the next item I'm going to be talking about are t-shirts. So I think, you know, t-shirts are a general thing that everybody should have, especially for spring, because it's kind of warmed up a tad bit, but it's not super, super warm. So maybe you don't want to wear tank tops all the time. Um, and these t-shirts are amazing. I've heard that they do shrink, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, but I got these from Target. Um, and they are the A New Day shirts, and I got them just in like this crew neck style in black and white, and I think that these are definitely great shirts to have. They're really comfortable, and I feel like they're really nice quality, um, but again, I have heard that they do shrink. I haven't gotten around to washing one of them yet, so we'll see, but I ended up buying two in white, one in a small and one in a medium, and then I bought two in black, one in a small and one in a medium, and then that way I can wear these a little bit more often, especially since I'm in the house a lot more, I'm wearing a lot more comfy clothes, um, but also because it gives you kind of a different, well, first, if it shrinks, then I have a larger version, <laughs> which is great, but also if, you know, I want kind of like a baggier style look when I'm like tucking something into jeans or I want something tighter, you know, it just depends on what I'm wearing, um, then I have those options. And again, it's so nice to have just like a basic t-shirt. Um, so this is definitely really cute. Goes with jeans, goes with kind of a baggier pants, goes with a skirt. Uh, you can pretty much wear these with anything. So my next item is silk tank tops. So I find that silk tank tops are something that I wear all the time. I feel like they're really good for going out, but also if you're wearing them under like a blazer or under a cardigan, it adds a really nice texture to whatever you're wearing because you can kind of, you know, you're not typically wearing a silky cardigan or silky um, blazer, so it adds just a different layer of material. Um, and also I feel like they're just a really good basic to have. So this one is a vintage one, um, this black one. It's a vintage Calvin Klein, um, which is a great if you can find them. You can definitely look at thrift stores. I know this is something that people have feelings about um but if you go actually into the lingerie section of a thrift store you can find really nice um nightwear stuff and you can even get like a silk kind of dress style um so like a slip and then you can cut it down into and sew it into a um, tank top into a silk tank top and then i got this one right here which needs some ironing i know um, but i'm gonna show you anyway <laughs> i got this one from uh, zara and this one is it has like this kind of cowl neck style which is what i was looking for because i think also cowl necks are something that's really cute right now um and just like tucked into jeans is very cute um and it's nice to have just a black and white basic they also have this one in black at zara but again i already have three black tank tops uh, right now, black of these um, black silk tops, so I decided not to get that one, but who knows, maybe I'll go back if I wear this one enough. So getting back into those razor tops, the next thing I'm gonna be talking about is razor top tank tops. Um, so this one right here is actually just a Hanes male t-shirt, and I'm gonna say something right now, if you're going out and buying from Zara, like the, um, the ribbed 
tank tops that are like $20 or whatever. Um, you can get them for a lot cheaper if you just go and buy a pack. You can buy these from, I think these came from Costco. These are actually, <laughs> this came from my boyfriend. Um, but you can buy just like the extra small of the Hanes shirts and then you just cut them yourself and you crop them. Um, and they're very, very cute. So they have the same kind of razor style um, and they have their ribbing, which again is very popular right now. And I'm seeing just a ton of crop tops. So crop tops with kind of like a baggier jean, kind of like what I'm wearing right now. So another thing that is always in for spring, um, and basically every season, is graphic t-shirts. So I just got these two new ones I'm going to show you. I have a ton of graphic t-shirts. I've got a whole drawer of t-shirts, um, but I did buy a couple more. So <laughs> this one is from Urban Outfitters. They were just having a sale, and they keep having sales. So if you're looking for some graphic tees, and you don't really want to go, obviously you can't go out to a thrift store right now, but let's say that in the future you're going out looking for t-shirts, and you just don't feel comfortable shopping in thrift stores for whatever reason, um, though I do recommend. Um, then you can definitely look at Urban Outfitters and wait for a sale. This one has a cute little logo on the front and then it has this larger um, kind of print on the back and this one is really great. I feel like it's really good quality. Um, it has a lot of nice colors to it and it's like a blackish, it's like a worn black um, and obviously black, grays, that kind of stuff are essential for me. So this is really good. And then I also have this one, which is a little bit tighter, and I feel like this is cute for tucking into jeans. Um, and it's like a little bit of an off-white color, and then it has this blue writing. So again, I feel like this would look very cute with blue jeans, um, or a pair of shorts, or even like a little skirt that has some blue to it. Uh, so this is another great essential, um, and I feel like these are lasting forever. Everybody loves a graphic tee. All right, and getting more into kind of the casual clothing, um, these are definitely staples for me, crew neck sweaters. Um, this one I just got, um, another big trend right now is tie-dye. So you can tie-dye yourself for sure, and I think that's gonna be maybe a project that I'm gonna be doing while we're all in lockdown. Um, but this is a very cute one I got from Urban Outfitters. Again, I just got it on sale, and they're still having sales right now, so now's a really good time. Um, and I just kind of wanted to test the waters, but this one is part of their like remade collection. So basically they take recycled clothing and then they redo it and then they sell it. So um, a little bit less waste, which is great. Not that Urban Outfitters is the best at that, but <laughs> you know, at least they're trying. Um, and I thought this was cute because again of the pink and the purples. So lavender is also something that's coming back right now. Pinks are still in style right now. Um, so two really great colors on this sweater that are great for spring. And then my other one is actually also an Urban Outfitter sweater, but I bought it two years ago. I actually have an old video when I when I originally bought this. There's a video. Um, so I'll actually put that down below in the description box in case you want to see back then when I bought this in a haul. Um, great purchase. It comes in that lavender shade that's really popular right now, really popular for spring. Um, and it just has a little bit of this writing right here. And then also has this writing on the back. So it's got it in Japanese. This was from the Kyoto collection um, from Champions. So also in style right now are these kind of like wide leg pants, wide leg denim. Um, there are some that have these darting that are in the front of it, but I actually prefer them without it. So I've been just going with these uh, Levi's wide leg jeans and they have them in four different colors. And then the second type of popular denim is the straight leg. I've got a whole video on jeans, so you can check that out. Um, but there's also these pair right here. And both of these jeans are from Levi's and they both are part of the ribcage collection, which is what I would recommend over the wedgie jeans if you are someone that's a little bit taller because they have longer lengths of pants. So another really popular trend right now is cardigans, or are cardigans? Is cardigans? Um, and I opted for really like three different styles of cardigans. One that is kind of this shorter length sleeve. This is something that's still really popular. I got this one at Zara, and it has the little metal buttons up the front. This is a really great basic. Again, I bought this, I think, two years ago, so it's lasted me quite a while. Ignore the fact that this needs to be ironed. Um, this one is also a thrifted piece, and I talked about this in my uh, thrift video. And this one is a white kind of style. And what's really popular about this one is having either like a single button or single clasp at the top that opens up your cardigan. This is another really popular trend that we're seeing right now. And this is definitely something that's like a throwback to the 90s. Um, but again, very cute. And it has that ribbed style to it. All right, and last but not least, I also have this really kind of cozy cardigan. So even though it's warming up a little bit, these like kind of fluffier cardigans are still in style right now. And this one has the three buttons up the front. This one's from and other stories and it's a wool blend. Um, this one's very cute. If it's a little bit colder out, I think this is still a really great style to have. And this pair with jeans is always really, really cute, especially if you want to like lighten it up a little bit, then I would recommend pairing this with a blue jean rather than pairing it with like another black jean, which feels a little bit more of like a winter or fall look. 
So last up we have blazers and I've talked about this so many times. I have this in actually my, I think it was my either fall or winter video um, where I talked about these exact same blazers. So I always have the exact same blazers. They've lasted me for years now. Um, blazers are a trend that is literally never gonna go away. So I recommend if you pick up a blazer right now, trust me, you will be able to wear it for years to come. Um, and if it goes out of style, we we'll come back into style later. Um, so I have this really great chocolate brown one that I got from TJ Maxx and it's really, really cute. Um, and then I also have my kind of go-to basic um, plaid, uh, plaid blazer. And this one came from Topshop. Again, I bought this, I think now, two or more years ago I really don't remember anymore um, but this is something that's gotten a lot of wear out and it's still in style and what's really cute about this for spring is that it has this kind of yellow in it um, so it kind of brightens up the look a little bit and brings a little like more pop of color and last up I've got this leather um, it's kind of like a combination of like a blazer slash trench style but again this is a thrifted piece um, I got it for a really good deal and it's real leather but what's really nice about this is leather is also a really popular trend right now so it feels really like trendy um, but you can buy it for a lot cheaper if you go to thrift stores and look for leather pieces again I know we can't go to thrift stores right now um, but soon in the future we will be able to so um, this is definitely going to be a great piece for me and I think it's gonna last for a really long time and again it's that combination of like a blazer slash trench coat so again great for like a cold day um, and you could also wear this with like a little office outfit so last up is shoes and I feel like white sneakers are something that again has been very popular for a long time now but definitely for spring um, I've already got my basic Stan Smiths and I've had these for over three years they're very dirty so don't judge um, but they're a great pair of shoe um, and they have this little green which I really like because again it gives that little pop of color for me who typically wears a lot of like black or white or like the same neutral tones so then recently I bought two pairs of shoes <laughs> And you, some might say they're very similar, um, but I actually want your guys' opinions on them. One is this Adidas, um, and it's just like this basic all white, but it has a little bit of gold, it has a little bit of suede, um, but I like the platform to it. However, it does have like a slightly pointed toe, which is not my favorite. Um, but let me know in the comments what you think about this one. The other one I just bought was the Nike uh, Quart Blanc. This one has a little bit of like a pop of orange, which is really cute. Um, and again, I don't have a pair of Nike kind of like everyday shoes. Um, so let me know what you think of these. I'm trying to pick between the two of them, which one I want to keep because I feel like I don't need both, especially since I already have my Stan Smiths. And then the always trendy Converse. Converse are something that's very popular. So I've got just like the basic all-star. Um, I've actually only worn these like twice, if I'm being honest, but these are definitely coming back into style. Great for spring. People like to wear them with like skirts. Um, dresses and kind of make them just like a little bit more cutesy um, a little bit more like a skater vibe right so that is the end of this video I hope you enjoyed this kind of overview of spring trends um, let me know in the comments what you think about the shoes that I asked you about because I want your opinion um, and then otherwise I've linked everything down below so you can see where I got everything from with the exception of things obviously that I bought at thrift stores or that I bought so long ago um, but if I'll try to find some like alternatives for those pieces so things that are similar that you could pick up um, but again, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below.